Hey guys, what's going on? Abby here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at your vault and getting ready for Beyond Light. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks in Destiny Item Manager for how to organize your vault, get rid of all the extra stuff so you can make room for all the goodies from Beyond Light that comes out November 10th, so we don't have a lot of time left. Hopefully you guys use Destiny Item Manager. If you don't, you should definitely check it out, destinyitemmanager.com. Even if you don't use it, there may be some helpful tips in here for you as you go through your vault in game. So let's get to it. All right, guys, this is what destinyitemmanager.com looks like. I'm actually on the beta version, beta.destinyitemmanager.com, if you want to get on that version as well. Sometimes there are newer features that you can access. But here we go. Right now, I'm looking at 367 out of 500, which is not that bad, to be honest, in my opinion. I was sitting around 400 plus before I did a quick initial comb through of all my gear um, a week or so ago. As far as an over overview of Destiny Item Manager, obviously you're going to see your three characters here, your entire vault. It's going to show you all of your gear, weapons, armor, and if we go back up to the top, it's also going to show your Postmaster. If there's anything in your Postmaster that you can pull into your character, you can actually do that straight from DIM. So that's a really helpful tip, even though it doesn't really help with our organization, but there's a tip for you guys. And the other thing that I want to show you guys too, before we get into the criteria sorting is this little gear icon over here on the right top right corner we're gonna go in here and you can actually choose how to sort your items so if you want them sorted by name you can just drag and drop that up there if you want them sorted by power level first or rarity or stack size like say you're organizing your shaders for whatever reason so normally I just sort sort it by rarity so that all my exotics are at the front of the list and just all kind of grouped up and then after that I would sort by name. All right so now that we've gotten that all taken care of let's go back to the inventory and take a look at this search bar up here. Now you can always search for different items like say I want to look for my gnawing hunger. I can put gnawing in here. It's going to highlight all of my gnawing hungers that I have and kind of gray out everything else. So it makes it a lot easier to look for specific items. So you can always do that. You could also do um, auto rifles. It's going to highlight the auto rifles for you, sniper rifles, etc. But the first thing that I always do in here when I'm trying to organize my vault is to do is colon dupe. And this is going to highlight all the items that are dupes in your vault. So if you're the type of person that hoards a lot of the same weapon because you know you really like it, this is going to highlight those items for you. So then you can go through and kind of weed out the ones with the perks that are maybe not as optimal. Now, I know that Bungie is going to put out a TWAB here in the upcoming future. They've hinted at it where they're going to talk about some of the archetype changes and possibly some buffs and nerfs to some stuff that's that's coming up so it might not be a bad idea to keep a couple different rolls of items that you really like however if they're gonna be sunset or if they're items that maybe you don't really use that much I would consider getting rid of them so now that we've got the is dupe criteria filtered here we can see all of our duplicates let's take a look at the weapons so you're gonna to want to look at the things that you have the most dupes of or things that maybe you don't use all the time so we're gonna take a look quickly at this horror story this is one of the drops you can get in the festival of the lost this season so I've been keeping all of them because usually whenever I play the game and I have a weapon that I like and I want to keep but I don't really have the best roll yet I start to just keep all of them and and then eventually I go here and dim, take a look at all of them, and then kind of weed them out that way. So we're going to go and click on this compare button right here. That's going to bring up all of our horror stories that we have across all characters and our vault. And it's going to show us a lot of really good information here. So you can see that we've got the power limit here, which is 1360. So that's really good. If you see 1060, you know that after Beyond Light hits, that item will not be able to be infused past that 1060 power limit. So those are the type of items that you're only going to want to keep 
for like PvP purposes where power level advantages don't matter. But this shows you the current power of the item, the power limit, and then all the other stats that you want to look at when you're comparing items to figure out what to keep and what not to keep. Now I'm not going to tell you what are all the optimal god rolls of every single weapon because ultimately that's up to you and how you like playing and what you like playing with, what your build is centered around, etc. So let's say I don't want to keep this outlaw moving target horror story anymore. I've decided that I like the other three better. Now we can go in here and tag this as junk. It's going to tag it as junk. We can see that it's over here on our warlock. So I could go in game and delete that if I wanted to, or if I wanted to pull it over to my hunter, let's say I'm on my hunter currently, I could pull it over and delete it that way as well. And then say I want to keep comparing these other three now that I know, okay, this was the bottom of the barrel. I don't want Want this one anymore i can just x out of it it stays marked as junk here and it's only going to show me the other three horror stories so now i can keep comparing if i want to i could put a favorite tag on one of them and then move on or whatever i want to do so it's just an easy way to compare your items and where you're going to want to be the harshest critic when it comes to paring down all of your dupes is for the items that are going to be getting sunset and so here at the top where it says is dupe you're also going to want to put a space in there and then put sunsets after arrival now if you just put sun in there it's going to pop up in the drop down it's really nice about that if you want to go to filters help you can also do that to see all of the different filters that you can use in this criteria box in the search box it's absolutely amazing the kind of granularity you can get down to in dim so i definitely would recommend that if you're into that kind of thing but if we just put sun in here it's going to say sunsets after arrival that's this current season so we're going to do an is dupe and sunsets after arrival and that's going to give us out of our weapons it's going to give us our spare rations and our outlast so both of these weapons have a max power limit of 1060 which means at the end of this season it will not increase in power anymore you can't fuse it up to a higher power level and i also have multiple of them so i've got two outlasts i've got two spare rations so let's take a look at them so we would go here to compare i would take a look at it and say all right well i've got a rapid hit kill clip which is really good in my opinion and i've got a fourth times the charm and a multi-kill clip so i would probably get rid of this multi-kill clip this one to me seems more like a pve weapon and if it can't go past that 1060 then i'm probably not going to use it in pve so i would probably junk that spare rations and i would probably keep this spare rations with the kill clip rapid hit for pvp if i ever wanted to do that it also has high caliber rounds and small bore so I, I feel like that's a pretty good roll i don't know i'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments i don't really use spare rations that much in pvp but i am a hoarder and so i'm trying to help you guys out but i have a problem as well <laughs> but using this is dupe sunsets after arrival you can really start to pare down your weapons you can do the same thing for your armor as well a lot of my duplicate armor is is going to be dream bane armor because i'm saving them in my vault for now because i already have max materials so i already have max prisms on all my characters as you can see i've already been collecting some in the postmaster so i've been keeping them in my vault as a way to kind of like have a bank for materials <laughs> so when beyond light starts i'll be dismantling them as i need them or as i need the space so that i can get those prisms because you get what seven prisms from a masterworked uh, dream bane armor piece i believe we've got some legs as well and some class items these ones i still use so i'll be getting rid of those in beyond light and i'll have to masterwork i guess a titan class item but you might have some armor in here that actually sunsets after the season that you didn't realize so definitely take a look at that you can also cut out the is dupes so say you've gone over your dupes and now we're ready for the next step the next step is going to be just looking at what's sunsetting so we're going to take out the is dupe and we're going to look at it let's take a look at our armor on this one so you can see here that I've got a lot of Dream Bane pieces. I've also got some Reckoning armor that I'm keeping for no reason. <laughs> so I would go through and junk those. We also know now that the Taken mods and Hive mods and stuff like that are not going to be a thing outside of the raid anymore. So this Reverie Dawn 
masks that I'm keeping in order to slot different Taken mods aren't going to be as necessary for non-raid activities. And since the Reverie Dawn mask is a Dreaming City piece and not a raid armor piece, and it has a power limit of 1060, which is this season's max, I'm most likely not going to be using it in the raids going forward, so I'll probably get rid of this guy. I don't think it's as important to keep armor that slots the Taken mods unless you have raid armor that's going to be able to infuse fuse up to a higher level beyond 1060. These Dream Bane, we are junking all of them because they are super low. They are masterwork, so it's nice because you can slot in a bunch of stuff in here. So if you're still trying to do like Nightmare Hunt time trials or something like that, this might not be a bad armor to keep around just for those additional mods, but they can also be a great source of materials as I explained earlier. I've also got a bunch of forge items. There's not much reason to keep your forge armor because it does have a 1060 season 11 max. Normally it's not really on the high stat side. This one actually came out pretty good. We got a 19 recovery roll and a total 60, which is probably why I kept it in the first place. However, now unfortunately it's pretty much junk. Most of the armor that you can't infuse past 1060 is going to be junk unless you're using it for a very specific PVP build. If you're not going to use it for PVP though, I would just get rid of it. As much as you say you might use it, you probably won't. It's junk. Get it out of here. <laughs> I don't know why I have all this stuff. <laughs> But yeah, so most of these items that are 1060 max are gonna get junked. So hopefully this kind of lets you guys see what goes through my mind when I'm looking at items and what I wanna keep and what I want to get rid of. But you can go through and, oops, you can go through and tag all of these as junk. And then as you log on to different characters, you can kind of pull them over and dismantle them one by one. Unfortunately, you can't dismantle them within DIM, which is probably good so that we don't dismantle anything by accident. However, you can always go through and sort, like I said before, by uh, tag so that you can see all the junked up stuff. So now that we've gone through and look at everything that is going to be sunsetting after this season and deciding what to junk out of that group, we're going to be looking at different criteria for our armor. So we've gone ahead and uh, collapsed this weapons tab. We're going to be looking at armor now only because for me, I don't know if it's the same for you guys, but for me, I have a lot more armor than I do weapons, a lot more. So I need to go in here and kind of pare down some of this armor because it's getting a little ridiculous. So we can type in here base stat total and then colon and then less than or equal to and then pick whatever number you think you want to get rid of all that armor that's lower than that right so we can say all right everything lower than 55 stat total I want to get rid of uh, now it's not always going to be that cut and dry you could have a really amazing armor piece that has stats in all the right places that's uh, that's lower than 55 but just pick a number as a base and it'll highlight for you all the items that have lower than that base. But this is another way you can go through your items and make sure you're junking these items. Now, if you wanna go even further into the uh, specifics of the criteria, you can also add another one. So we've got base stat total under 55 here, and then we can also do base stat uh, recovery and say I want to look at anything that has lower than five recovery so I can do less than or equal to five for recovery and it's gonna highlight any items which I don't have any so let's do <laughs> ten sure okay so let's look at ten so it's gonna show me anything that is less than 55 total stats and less than 10 total recovery stats so that's showing these right here let's bump this up to 60 just so we can have kind of a better a better grouping of items so let's do base stat total less than 60 and look at any armor pieces that are less than five 
total stats. So here it's highlighting a couple purples here. Usually I don't really look at the exotics very much just because I like to keep all my exotics unless they're really, really bad rolls just because it's difficult to get non-collection book rolled exotics. But we've got two items here that are a total stat of 60, but the recovery is less than five. I really like to have high recovery on most of my builds. So let's take a look at these. So this one is hold fast gloves. These are power limit 1360. So these will go all the way through to season 14 and this is the reason I'm keeping these gloves because there is a 28 total stats into intellect so if I get anything that has like crazy stats in one or two categories usually I keep it no matter what unless it's like strength and resilience or something but this can be used for a very specific build this could be used for a pvp build um, maybe not so much with the resilience I know a lot of people probably would get rid of this piece and i may get rid of it as well but it's got 59 stats and 28 of those stats are in intellect you also want to take a look at like let's say i do not want strength really on any of my pieces especially hunter and warlock really and so if i have anything that has over 15 strength let's take a look at that so you can kind of do spot checks around of each of these. Now I've already kind of gone through a first pass at this. So that's why my vault doesn't really have a lot of these items in it. I should have recorded when I did that earlier, but I didn't. Depending on what stats you like, you can always put little filters in there to kind of whittle down the armor that you don't want. So for instance, I'm pretty sure I kept these legs as a joke because I couldn't believe that I got 28 strength on a pair of boots so i think that's why i kept this just as a oh my god how did i even get this however i will say with some of the new exotics that are coming out and being featured for beyond light especially the titan overshield where it turns your barrier into an overshield instead of a barrier you're going to want to focus on resilience for titans which i have never been a big fan of resilience in this game it just does not feel like it does anything however it does control the cooldown of your class ability on titan so it may not be bad to keep some high resilience items for your titan going into beyond light in case you get that exotic and want to try out that overshield if you could have an overshield up like every time you could normally have a barrier up that would be amazing so hopefully these little criteria tips up here in the search bar are going to help you kind of whittle down your armor, get rid of some stuff. Like, why do I have this? It's nice that it's 65, but it's not going to go up in power and it's not high recovery roll. So I'm definitely junking that. Some of these items I've been keeping because of the mod slots, but now that we know the mod slots are changing, I don't think it's as important to keep a lot of these items anymore. And that's really it for the tips on how to kind of organize your vault, get rid of a lot of stuff before Beyond Light. Uh, I usually use the is dupe, the sunset after, and the base stat criteria are my most frequently used. Hopefully that helps you guys when you're organizing your vault. If you enjoyed this type of video, if you want me to go over some other dim features, then definitely let me know. But hopefully that gives you guys a jump start into Beyond Light. Clean up those vaults and get ready for all the new goodies. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.